Hello everyone, welcome back. I know I haven't done a video for a long time now, so today I will be reviewing the OPPO K7X smartphone, as you can see here. This phone was released back in 2020, about coming to two years now since we are now in 2021. And I have this set in the uh, blue color. I'm not too sure what exactly the color is called. But yeah, I have the blue color version of the phone. 128GB with 6GB of RAM. As you can see on the back right here, there are 4 cameras and 1 flash unit. Moving to the bottom, you can see the OPPO logo like most other OPPO devices. And the color is kind of shimmering like uh, the Aura Glow on the Note 10 from Samsung. But this doesn't change the color. It's just like a, a ripple or wave kind of effect like you can see on the camera right now. Moving to the front, we have this uh, screen uh, which has no much bezels it doesn't have the home button and it has the cutout display on the top right there the button power button is over here and the volume buttons and the sim card tray is on the other side so once we boot up the device uh, you just have to swipe up like any other android device and that's how the device boots up quite smooth i should say with a search function right there and the custom oppo chinese version apps as i believe this model is not an international model it's the uh, domestic model i believe so this uh, phone also has this search which is a little bit laggy as you could have seen from just now it's a little bit laggy and yeah the phone does have many features that the iPhone does. Since I'm an iOS user, this phone actually uh, fits in very well because I can use this and there's also a shortcut uh, window right here. Going to the camera, the camera is actually pretty satisfactory for a 100, 200 plus dollar device it's over here in singapore we use singapore dollars it's about one thousand uh, dollars in chinese money it does feature the 0 0.5 times more like most uh, smartphones nowadays they feature that and the zoom capabilities is kind of okay i should say although once it go more it becomes a bit more grainy The fact I don't like about this is that it takes more time to focus again when you go from 1 times to 0 0.5 times. The selfie camera on the other hand uh, is okay I believe and as you can see I'm filming over here with some uh, very uh, budget wooden kind of thing and yeah this is a very average camera but good enough for the price point so like any other budget phone it doesn't feature a curved edge there is uh, some a little bit of bezel and yeah with the display for this price i believe it's good enough so if you have any questions or anything regarding this device i would be happy to answer them and also i've also been putting this device actually this one right here for sale right now so if you would like to purchase it and help support the channel you may leave a comment down below or you may send me an instagram dm but this is only for the singaporean market so if you have any questions or comments you just drop them down or send me a message and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching